Welcome to Exibyte, where we explain Exi Infinity in bite size. Today, we'll be talking about how you can keep track of how many cards your opponent has so they can't catch you by surprise. In this episode, we'll be talking about how not only you can count your opponent's cards to determine what they'll do, you can even predict the cards that they can play. There are two phases you can use to determine how many cards your opponents have, and they are called Planning Phase and Execution Phase. Before we start, do you know what the top right card icon in the game means? This icon has two different meanings, depending on which phase you are in. Let's start with the Planning Phase. Planning Phase is a part of the round where you select what cards you want to play, before hitting the Enter button. In this phase, the top right card icon indicates the number of cards your opponent had in the previous Planning Phase. For example, Let's say that you are in round 2 and the top right card icon shows the number 6. This is the number of cards that your opponent had in round 1's planning phase. So, how do you determine the number of cards your opponent has now? Let's say, your opponent has played 2 cards in round 1. What you can do is this, type the top right card icon's number, which is 6 in this case, minus the cards that they have used, which is 2. Then add 3 for the number of cards your opponent has drawn when moving into round 2. If you count that right, your opponent will have 7 cards in hand right now. Pretty simple right? It's pretty much like counting energy. Now, let's talk about how we can count cards in the execution phase. The execution phase is a part of the game where you have ended your turn and cards are being played. Here, the top right card icon has a different meaning. Instead of telling you how many cards your opponent had in the previous planning phase, it now tells you the number of cards your opponent has in hand currently. So, to determine the number of cards your opponent will have in the next round, simply add 3 to this number. Let's take round 1 for example. Round 1 starts with 6 cards and your opponent plays 1 October tree and 1 Vegetal Bite. You, on the other hand, played nothing so your opponent was able to draw a card from October tree. During this execution phase, you see the top right card icon now shows the number 5. This number has already factored in the number of cards your opponent had played and that one card drawn from October 3. To determine the number of cards your opponent will have in round 2, just add 3. This means in the next round, your opponent will have 8 cards in hand. Simple. To reiterate, if you're counting cards using the planning phase method, you need to use the top right card icon's number and subtract it with the number of cards your opponent has played and discarded. Then add the number of cards your opponent has drawn from cards like October Tree. But of course, when you're already counting energy, things can get messy. So we highly recommend bringing up the notepad on your PC or a literal notepad for you to keep track of these things. Otherwise, just use the simpler execution phase method where you just have to look at the top right card icon's number and add 3. Between counting energy, counting cards and knowing what cards your opponents can draw, the game doesn't seem that random anymore does it? Now it's all skill and no luck, because luck is for chums, hehehehe. <laughs> Anyways, if you need a refresher on how to count energy, check out this episode we made a while ago. And if you forgot about the card draw mechanism, we've got you covered too. And that wraps up our episode for today. Be sure to like and subscribe for more of our content and leave a comment down below if you want us to cover anything. And that's today's XC Byte. See you on the next one. <laughs>